Hi guys, this is Let's Scale Parry with Jay Lotus again. I'm going to talk to you today about female ejaculation. So, um, quickly, JT Expert here. Um, from my point of view, I've heard that there may be benefits um, to women not ejaculating and also ejaculating. So, I'm a bit confused and I want to learn and and maybe you should talk to us a bit about sexual alchemy and, and whether it's good or bad and how we can transmute that energy and how women can do it wrong too. So there's obviously a wrong way of doing things. So yeah, Jay, talk to us about female ejaculation. Okay, so um, female ejaculation is like a liquid coming out of the, the vagina, the yoni during sex. So um, um, it's become quite well known and popular nowadays actually because of pornography. So it's become quite a popular thing to depict in porn because it looks really cool you know and we're talking about I mean there's different ways the liquid can come out I mean we can talk about three main ways but I ne now believe there's more than three ways you know so initially when a woman is first getting aroused there's a kind of like a slimy sort of li liquid that's quite like a gel vaginal that fluids, comes out that? yeah a yeah. kind of vaginal fluids they're probably coming they're coming out of the Bartolin glands which are on e either side of the vagina on the outside you know um, so that's a, a, initially what you'll get, that kind of slimy lubrication, okay? Now, um, in, inside the woman then, there's um, a few different um, pleasure zones, okay? The most well-known one on the outside is the clitoris, and then the back of the clitoris on the inside is the G-spot. So imagine if you're facing the woman, the woman's lying on her back, and if you put the fingers in like this and beckon, this way that you're going to be touching the g-spot just then and it feels a little bit like the roof of the mouth if you touch the roof of your mouth with the tongue that's a little bit what the g-spot feels like and it's basically like the same tissue that you're touching when you touch the clitoris that's being stimulated and um out of under behind this you have a gland which is called the skeins gland okay now um about female anatomy there's a surprising little amount known about female anatomy now especially in terms of sexual anatomy interestingly enough one of the reasons for it was when medical students and researchers were doing autopsies they generally would do an autopsy only on a man not on a woman now one of the reasons was in the old days they do the autopsies on criminals which tended to be men but also apparently they had a problem that the medical students were having sex with the dead bodies if it was a woman dead bodies. Okay. yeah mm. so they were actually would then just using male dead bodies you know so right. there's actually like mm. very little known about the actual pleasure anatomy and the anatomy of the woman's mm. vagina but then even if you wanted to do research into female ejaculation looking at a dead body is not going to be any good you know yeah. so um True. it's through people like my teacher Mark in Boudoin who's actually um, researched a lot like th through giving like thousands of like uh, therapeutic vaginal massages gy gynecological sort of tantric massage cross thigh massage mm -hmm. to women that he started researching he's actually found like five different pleasure zones and he's found like at least three different places women can ejaculate from so the first kind of ejaculation we can talk about it's coming from the g-spot and it comes out of the urethra okay so basically you can say classically speaking you start to massage the g-spot and you find behind the g-spot you can start getting a little lump and it will start to grow and that little lump is the the skein's gland and the skein's gland starts to grow and build up and eventually the fluid can shoot out of the woman. Now for this to happen the woman needs to absolutely be completely sexually comfortable with herself. Mm -hmm. She needs to feel totally comfortable and connected with the guy that she's there for. It's so much more than just mechanical touch this spot, press this button. It's absolutely this feeling she gets of feeling really so trust it's deep and relaxing. comfortable. It's good. It only yes, it's deep. and connection, really the connection is like so important, you know. Mm -hmm. and and, um, and um, so that's the first liquid. And then when that liquid comes out, it's a very, very thin sort of watery liquid. And it's actually shooting out through the urethra, the same place you would pee, but it's different from pee. It can have like a very, very slightly salty taste to it, but it's not the, sa the same as pee. And even if you taste it, it doesn't sort of taste the same. So that's the first liquid that's, that's squirting out from where the G-spot is. Now, if you're touching the G-spot and then you go further up, you find the next erogenous zone and it's at the bottom of where the, the head of the cervix is coming down, but still up on that top area. And that's called the A-spot. And it's possible for the A-spot to also ejaculate. Now, we're not sure exactly where the liquid comes out from when the A-spot ejaculates, but it can be an enormous amount of liquid, like talking like you can have a liter of liquid come out here yeah, from an A-spot organ 
orgasm yeah personally i've been having a, a massage and had something like two massive towels completely soaked with liquid and more liquid on other towels on the bed you know so enormous yeah. amounts of liquid can come come out and i believe that what sometimes can happen is it's a huge is it, is unblocking. It's the same liquid, even though it's a different place. No, no it's, it's different. different. Liquid, it different. tastes totally different. It's not okay. so thin. It's slightly thicker, and it has a much, much sweeter taste to it. You know. And then Martin's also researching into if you turn your fingers exactly opposite and feel down by the anus. There's another gland down there that very, very little is known about this gland, and it's actually the gland where if you, a woman is having anal sex, that will be sti stimulated. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so basically that possibly can also ejaculate and and it can bring on orgasms as well you know and then it's possible that a liquid can also come out of the cervix as well you know so that's at least three well we're talking about squirting from the g-spot from the a-spot from the cervix the other liquid coming you know i mean i think there could be like even five or six different liquids that can actually come out of the vagina now when a woman for example squirts i mean a woman can squirt enormous amounts of liquid you know you can leave a patch on the bed like this big wet patch as if you feed from a full bladder you know but it's not come out of your bladder and if you smell it sometimes it can have a very very slightly pee smell to it but it's basically it's not pee that's actually coming out right so what this is actually doing in the woman she's not it's it's not the same as male ejaculation where you're losing the life force you're losing the the sperm you're actually losing stuff that could basically be blocking you you know okay. so having it come out it's, it's like it's hunter. very very beneficial you know oh. and it's also like a release like it's a very emotional release so after a woman ejaculates it's very very common for her then to cry as well really? you know oh. and one of the one of the terms people actually call this female ejaculation it's actually yoni crying so yoni being the sacred sanskrit word for vagina and talking about actually you know releasing yeah releasing stuff that's stuck inside us i mean for example you have this sexual reflexology which talks about how we can store negative emotions and traumas in certain parts of the body so in the g-spot we actually can store re repressed anger so someone who's very gentle and sweet they can have a lot of repressed anger in their g-spot so ejaculating out of the g-spot is really a great way for a woman to get rid of like the negative feelings out of her body and actually sort of um, balance herself and if you look actually at both tantra and taoism you know they actually say the woman should ejaculate and the man should not which is about the opposite of what's been happening for the last several thousand years at least you know and even now like i mean i think actually one of the few good things i would say about pornography is the fact is actually getting people to understand about the importance of female pleasure and the import importance of female ejaculation and how great yeah. it can be for the guy to actually just really enjoy playing, you know, with the vagina, yeah. also massaging, you know, all the different parts, like for example, with therapeutic va vaginal massage, it's often quite pleasurable as well, but we really just go around inside, finding all the little areas, all the no little nooks and cranny, and literally like vi vibrating and massaging them with love, you know, which actually is like, clearing blockages and even sort of blockages like um, what, what we refer to as sediment which is actually sort of bad stuff that's being left in the lymphatic and in the blood system which can actually lead to cancer later on in life so it's similar as actually a man having like his prostate massaged and um, massaging with the finger because the penis it just cannot really massage in the same way it's very difficult to stimulate the g-spot with the um, with the penis you know i mean through shallow pe penetration to some extent it can be but not in the same way as the finger so using the finger is actually essential you know for not just you know pleasure but actually the health of the woman but then the pleasure is very very important because if a guy is just constantly going to his partner and just penetrating straight away without actually touching her body and spending time to open it up, what happens is she completely sexually shuts down and in the end you'll end up with a relationship where there's just not really much fun sexually going on, you know. So it's really, really important just foreplay, getting to know each other, doing it with a sense of fun, with almost like a childlike fun nature, just exploring yourself, exploring your other party, you know. And absolutely, like the massaging of yourself, you know, it, it can be done as well. And um, yeah, yeah. It's really powerful. Yeah. Like I'm learning a lot mm. here about, so you're saying that 
Um, not something to be feared, but it's something that's very healing. I didn't know that either. It's very, very healing for the woman to... It's so to, healing. Maybe she does that by herself. Yeah. Can you do it by yourself? Is it possible by yourself? Is it you're talking about maybe... It's a lot easier to, for to a partner. Well. In my experience, maybe people have other experiences, but in my mm. experience, it's not really easy to do it with yourself, you know, but mm. with a partner, it's awesome. feeling... But for me, absolutely, I need to feel that connection. I need to feel that feeling safe, feeling held, you know, mm. and then, it, and then it, it just happens. And it's just such a... You know, it's like a very cathartic, very blissful feeling, but like a relaxing, blissful feeling, not like a co constricting, sort of tense, you know, contraction. Although there, it does involve contraction, it's just a very, like it's an opening up of the whole body, you know, and it's a beautiful feeling. And even though sometimes, like, I mean, so much liquid can come out, maybe if someone's never heard of it before, they might mistake it for pee. And also sometimes just before it's going to come out, it looks quite white, you can it? get a feeling, from, I'm, it can look from, like pee. Yeah. It can yeah. but not yellow but it can mm. appear like a very thin liquid that really squirts out you know yeah. so um so you know the woman can get nervous thinking oh she's gonna pee you know and as the man just to to make sure she feels safe and go oh if you do don't worry and put a towel down you know of course you know if you're trying mm. to help your partner with it yeah absolutely put a towel down because it can make a big mess you know yeah. i i certainly like to put a, a towel down myself you know mm. and yeah. um and then just um, just just experiment and really just doing it do it with an open heart, feeling connected, really mm. going actually like very gentle and very slow. Certainly to start with gentle and slow, mm. and make sure you've warmed her whole body up, opened her whole body up at the beginning, mm. you know, and that she's really really relaxed. And mm. yeah, I mean it's it's talked about in ancient times by both the Taoists and they the Tantrists. Amrita, Amrita, someone. Amrita, Rita. it's Amrita. Yeah. It literally yeah. means elixir. It's like water of life, you know, and. Um, yeah, I mean, in my experience, when it's because I didn't used to have female ejaculation, but when it first started really happening to me, I was a little shy that maybe a man might think it was sort of pee or something. But I, I would just explain it at the beginning, hey, it can things can get a bit messy. Let's grab a towel or something like that, you know, and make sure they understood. And I've only ever had people like think it was just amazing and really love it actually, you know. So um, and it's actually an amazing, amazing feeling for the guy, and especially when it squirts and it squirts onto him, you know. So really like. Beautiful 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 feeling so mm. yeah mm. yeah that's powerful so thank you so much mm. for sharing that i'm learning a lot here just yeah. on the, the audiences so yeah that was uh, j lo's of harry on female ejaculation thanks for watching guys appreciate it mm.